Hi you guys, this is Keith here with the uh, first update in my BioCube 14. It has been up now for about a month and a half. Uh, no fish yet. Uh, it was cycled with live rock and a deli shrimp. Um, levels are all pretty much perfect. I'm dealing with the algae blooms from a new tank. The diatoms were gone. Uh, about a week and a half ago, I got everything covered with brown diatoms and hair algae. Um, I did not clean any of it. I did not do anything to the tank. I got a cleanup crew about maybe four days later. And in three, maybe four days, they have completely massacred all that brown algae. Now, uh, this is an iPhone, you guys, so uh, the colors don't really come out well, but I have a tad bit of algae left, but it's not really brown algae. It looks brown in the camera. It's actually a green algae, uh, from what I've read. normally comes in uh, phases, you know, you got your browns, and then you got your green. Um, I also got some of this, uh, whatever kind of algae that is uh, kind of looks like a fern in a way kind of like a cattail or something but it was small and in maybe a week and a half two weeks it's grown that big I'm gonna have to trim it but I kind of like it gives it a natural look um, so far all that I have in here now are I have four or five snails uh, they dig in the sand I can't remember the exact breed if you guys want to post that um, and I also have a lot of these dwarf cirrus. I originally placed an order for about 12. And these are really small. They're about a quarter of an inch to about three-eighths to maybe half max. And instead of giving me 12, they gave me a bag full of like 70 of them. Um, so I put most of them in the display. And they've decimated the algae that's in here. I tossed a few in the back where the fuge is. I seeded the tank with copepods two jars of copepods and that was just a month ago maybe and if you can see it this camera will pick it up on the sides of the glass I have hundreds and hundreds of these babies they look like little pieces of dirt but they're they're actually copepod babies you can kinda of see them against the back wall um, over there but there's just hundreds of them all along the sides of the glass and and all over the rock and in the back wall now in the back I have for now the biocube filter pad with carbon in it uh, my heater is in the first chamber um, I have notched the overflow in the first chamber all the way up in the back to increase flow and I notched the chamber or the wall of the chamber that goes from one to two to increase flow and in the back in the middle chamber I have a in-tank media basket where I have my Chemipure Elite and Purigen and I have some Cheeto and sea lettuce growing of course we can't see that I have upgraded the return pump in the back uh, so it has more flow I have a DIY LED kit, 3 watt, dimmable, um, 12 bulbs, 6 actinic, and 6 whites. My sand bed, I have about 20 pounds of, of sugar fine sand, if we can pick that up there, and about 12 pounds of crushed coral above that to help with the bacteria growth. I ordered some shells, just some regular empty shells for the hermits. Let's see if I can pick some of these guys up. You see these guys on the, uh, all kinds of these little guys. These guys are everywhere, but they're even on the back wall and everything. But they're going to town, and the back wall is pretty much the only thing that was left. And every few days, I toss in a little bit of flake food for them to eat. There's a better shot of that algae. If you guys know what that is, 
good or bad. I mean, I kind of like it. I might leave it just for the natural look and to help soak up uh, nutrients. But I'm going to trim it and then throw it in the garbage. I will not flush it down the sink because California, we're right next to the Delta. Not a good idea. I got a little bit of hair algae left, but aside from that, everything is going good. I'm actually going to pick up some, they got some very tiny clownfish that are babies. I'd say they're just a, a few months old. They're three-eighths of an inch, maybe. I'm going to pick up two and put them in here. And that will be my entire stock for now. Uh, the rest is going to be corals. And I will keep you guys updated, but this is just my first. So expect more. And thank you guys for watching. And subscribe and like. And you'll see more videos from me. Thank you.